Hello, this is Himanshu Nigam from IIPS and DVV University in Dor, and here I am explaining you the algorithm for predictor corrector method. For this, first let us understand the predictor corrector method. By using an example, let the quadratic equation is given by y equals to a plus b into x minus xi plus c into x minus xi into x minus xi minus h. Now here the coefficients a, b and c can be obtained by the equations a equals to yi, b equals to yi plus 1 minus yi divided by h and c equals to 1 by h into f, f of xi plus 1 comma yi plus 1 minus yi plus 1 minus yi divided by h square. Now using these values of the coefficients we can get the predicted value of y i plus 2 is equals to y i plus 2 h into f of x i plus 1 comma y i plus 1. We will make use of this equation in our algorithm. Now we can get the corrected value of y i plus 2 is equals to y i plus h by 2 into f of x i plus 1 comma y i plus 1 plus h into f of x i plus 2 comma y p i plus 2 which is the predicted value of y i plus 2. Here we get the corrected value of y i plus 2 using the predicted value of y. The special feature of the predictor corrector method is that here the solution is evaluated using the previous points like y i minus 1 comma y i minus 2 etc on the solution curve. Thus all past information regarding the behavior of the solution is not ignored. This is efficient and it would be desirable to use previous points in evolving a solution. Now let us see the algorithm for this method. The algorithm for predictor corrector method is this method is also known as mill raise method. Now here we start our algorithm. First of all we read x1, y1 h and xf where xf is the final point then we write x1 and y1 then we assign the value of the function at point x1 comma y1 at k1 then we add h to x1 and assign this value in x2 then we make the value y2 equals to y1 plus h times k1 which is already defined over here then we assign the value of function at point x2 comma y2 in k2 and the, then again we find the value of y2 using the value of previous that is y1 plus h times k1 plus k2 divided by 2. Here we test for the condition using a loop while x2 is less than or equals to xf which is our x final begin our loop we write x2 and y2 then we again assign the value of fx2 comma y2 in k2 then here we find the predicted value of y3 which is equals to y1 plus 2h k2 then we increment x2 by h and put it in x3 here k3 becomes the value of the function at point x3 comma y3 p here the corrected value of y3 that is y3c comes by y2 plus h by 2 into k2 plus k3 divided by 2. Here all the k2 k3 are defined previous. y1 here y2 is assigned the y1 is assigned the value of y2 y2 is assigned the value of y3c and again x2 is assigned the value of x3. Here we end our algorithm, end our loop and finally we end our algorithm. That's all. Thank you.